The first parking meters began accepting coins in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma in 1935 to create turnover and promote business. Since their original installation, parking meters have, in some form or another, played a vital role in facilitating traffic management, promoting local business, and mitigating pollution. The availability and convenience of public parking has a significant impact on the livability of our city and our ability to attract visitors, grow business, and host major events. When hourly parking meter rates are properly set, parking meters create turnover and availability, making locations served by meters more popular due to increased availability. In 2010, the City County Council approved a plan to modernize parking meters and bring convenient parking alternatives to motorists in Indianapolis. Park Indy, a team composed of Denison Global, a local minority-owned business, Evans Time, a local women-owned business, and ACS, a Xerox company, was selected for this role. Currently, the Park Indy team has installed more than 1,300 new credit card accepting meters. May 9th marked the beginning of the second phase of the Park Indy modernization plan, with the city's first pay boxes going live on Massachusetts Avenue. The Park Indy team will continue to install multi-space pay boxes throughout the summer, downtown, in Broad Ripple, and on Massachusetts Avenue. As pay boxes are installed, a majority of single-space parking meters will be removed. The remaining single-space parking meters will be assessed and rusted infrastructure will be replaced by the best meter housings. Unlike single-space meters, pay boxes cover several parking spaces and generally are centrally located. When you park, you will find a space number conveniently located on an existing pole. Each pole will note up to two space numbers, one on either side of the pole. About 50% of the poles will remain, ensuring that bicyclists, an important stakeholder, can lock their bikes to the pole. As with the single space meters, using the pay box is as easy as one, two, three. First, select the space number of your parking spot and press the enter button. Second, insert coins or swipe your credit card, then press plus or minus to add or subtract time. Third, simply press OK and walk away. Motorists may purchase up to two hours before 5 p.m. and up to four hours after 5 p.m. The pay box also allows motorists to pre-purchase time after 5 a.m. For more information on the installation of the new technology and changes coming to the parking meters in Indianapolis, please visit www.parkindy.net. You can also follow Park Indy's progress via Facebook and Twitter.